So the reason that I reject that view uh, is I do not view the millennium and the eschaton as compatible because we have uh, competing imagery that only a, a literal millennium and a, an eschaton can answer. Things such as um, you know people continuing from Sabbath to Sabbath, uh, from seasons to seasons, years to years, um, promises that are made that in this uh, you know this kind of what we would maybe call this realized eschatology, that there would be no more stillborns uh, and that, you know, someone who dies at 100 will be considered as still dying in their youth. Um, it says that people will be having birth and dying. There it is. Bingo. People will still be having dirty, stinky sex, according to this guy, after Jesus returns. All right. And so that's, that's, completely contrary to what the Bible says. I mean, you've got to be completely ignorant to teach this sort of stuff. And first Peter, or I'm sorry, first John uh, chapter two, it says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world and the world passes away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of god abides forever all right so there it is there is no more dirty stinky sex after jesus comes because when he comes it's the end of the world the world passes away and the lust thereof so in second timothy verse four let's read this the very first verse i charge thee therefore before god and the lord jesus christ who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his kingdom. Now, that alone says that when Jesus comes at his appearing, he will judge the quick and the dead. The quick being um, the spirit, meaning those that are saved and those who are not saved. Alright, and therefore, when we read Revelation 20, and we see Jesus coming, we see it coming here, him coming here in verse 11, and I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. This is when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. Now, you cannot say that he comes before this. That, I mean, that's, I understand it, 99.9% .9 of the parrots or the preachers, the pastors today, they, they say this. It doesn't make it true. It could be 100% of the pastors saying it, it still won't make it true. When Jesus comes, he will judge the quick and the dead at his appearing therefore you can't have him coming to earth appearing and not judging the quick and the dead all right so think about it it's unbelievable when jesus comes it's the end of the world there are so many weird strange religions being taught today and they are completely contrary to the Word of God.